Do you know there are mammals that reproduce through egg laying? Let's introduce you to the amazing monotremes, mammals that lay eggs and are found only in Australia and New Guinea. In the scientific world, two other types of mammals reproduce through live births. Those are the placentals and the marsupials. While the third type of mammals which reproduce by laying eggs are called monotreme. Their name, monotreme, comes from Greek and means single opening, referring to the fact that they have only one opening for both reproductive and waste removal purposes. Only five species of animals share this extraordinary egg-laying trait, the duck-billed platypus and four echidna species which are the western long-beaked echidna, eastern long-beaked echidna, short-beaked echidna, and Attenborough's long-beaked echidna. Let's learn more about these five monotremes. Number one of five, duck-billed platypus. With its distinct duck-like bill, this fascinating creature is found in Tasmania and Australia. The streamlined design of their bodies allows them to move gracefully in and under the water where they live most of the time. Interestingly, they can produce venom from the spurs in their feet. While it can harm smaller animals, it will not kill a human. Platypuses feed on small aquatic animals and locate their food by using their highly sensitive snouts. They often travel along the bottom of a riverbed and dig through the sediment in search of things to eat. These animals are ready to mate at two years of age and often have more than one partner in their lifetime. When the female prepares to lay her eggs she goes off to a secluded den by herself to wait out the process. She will typically only lay one to three eggs. A baby platypus, known as a puggle, is hairless and about the size of a human hand when it's born. It will nurse with its mother in a protective pouch for a few months and eventually get moved to a burrow as it grows older. By four or five months old, the baby is ready to learn how to swim. Number two of five, Western Long-Beaked Echidna. The Western Long-Beaked Echidna is an unusual animal found in New Guinea. They are the largest of the monotremes, weighing in at nearly 40 pounds. Earthworms are their main dietary staple and they have three strong sharp claws which they use to dig and for protection. Although these animals are quite submissive, and would be more likely to curl up in a tight ball to protect themselves than engage in an attack. Mating season occurs one month during the summer, and it is usual for a female echidna to have only one offspring. Sadly, illegal poaching and destruction of native habitats have led to a decline in its population. Today, the western long-beaked echidna is considered critically endangered. Number 3 of 5, Eastern Long-Beaked Echidna. Like their western long-beaked relatives, these eastern echidnas are much larger than the other monotremes. They are brown or black and don't have a tail, and their extremely tiny mouth sits at the very tip of their snout. Eastern long-beaked echidna uses their sizable snout to follow scent trails and root through mud and dirt for food. They are mostly nocturnal and spend the nighttime hours hunting for insects, larvae, and earthworms. Since they're so elusive, little is known about their reproductive cycle, but breeding probably occurs around April or May. The eastern long-beaked echidna is considered vulnerable by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Number 4 of 5, Short-Beaked Echidna. Sometimes called spiny anteater, the furry brown coat of a short-beaked echidna is covered in dozens of spiny quills, giving it the appearance of a hedgehog. Because they have no teeth, their sticky tongue is used to catch termite ants and smash them inside their mouths. Short-beaked echidnas have an excellent sense of smell, which comes in handy when searching for potential mates during breeding season. It takes between 20 and 30 days for the female to gestate and lay an egg. The hatchling will live in a small pouch hidden in its mother's fur and nurse for several weeks until it's old enough to survive without her protection. Number 5 of 5, Attenborough's Long-Beaked Echidna. Named for historian and naturalist Sir David Attenborough, this echidna is found in New Guinea. It's the smallest of all the echidna and sadly has been on the critically endangered list for quite some time. Like other echidnas, it has small spurs on its hind legs that can be used when in danger. Typically, they are solitary nocturnal creatures that spend most of their life alone, but once a year they come together for mating season. During the gestational period, the female creates a well-insulated den or burrow in preparation for the egg. After the baby has grown spines and fur and has nursed enough to grow bigger, it too will go on to live alone. Their lifespans are quite long, and a few documented monotremes in captivity were recorded to have lived 45 to 50 years.